Hello gamers both young and old today Today we are talking about a mixed bag Why? I admit I do love Ninja Turtles too but There are issues in these games Now let's talk about the good and fun part You get to play two player this time Either choose one of the turtles to fight and most of the time people choose Leonardo because he's badass and the other person can choose the other turtle but once the setting is done like this you are not allowed to use other turtles and most of the time you only stick to one and eventually the turtles do gain more attacks like this let's say like kick which is kind of useful and the villains I can see are much more smarter using their guns in various directions where you have to be careful just let you know but most of the time jump kick is a good idea because just let you know Rocksteady has a habit of let's say rushing you like as I mentioned, he is a rhinoceros, that's how they attack. Where it causes a lot of damage and you'd rather take the let's say gunshots, which is not that painful compared to let's say his hit button. Or let's say horn button, whatever. Now just put it this way. Why I say this is a mixed bag? Because this is definitely a ninja still game, okay? but it's not that flexible. I can use the other turtles, which is a thing that I really don't like to see. And as you see, the same thing happens here and this one the nice part of the game we do have a lot of sequence and it does bring us the story which is all ah this is one of the fun parts you see the girl that let's say you miss right there's a saying that if you hit her she'll get stripped naked but i've never tried that before most of the time she ducks my attack and same biba is doing the same thing he'll be using a ram attack just make sure you don't get hit by the ray gun remember it turns you into a tiny turtle and that's something you don't want to do now most of the time you'll be using a slide kick for it is one of the angles that put you in the safe positions and you're allowed to hit your opponents easily and don't fall into the hole although I'm quite certain if I was the Ninja Turtles that is one of the places to escape or let's say hide until someone attacks me which is a very common ninja tactic now there's one thing I need to point out here I did, did some research on ninja tactics and Let's be fair here, Leonardo is the least ninja among them all For he's using the most non-ninja weapons there's no, thi there's no such thing as a katana to be used by ninjas If they are katana wielding ninjas Most of the time they pick up the weapons from dying samurais And they let's say utilize the weapons Katanas are just too long to be hidden Which will be um, let's say Problematic for ninjas are Epsilon's units. They do not they say fight people in <laughs> direct combat, which is what I'm doing here. But anyway, this is a game, so just yes, let it be. So now I can see you took a lot of slashing before I kill Bebop. And I'll be moving to the next level, which, yeah, underground level. Now, there's one thing that I never understand, which the angry video name got point out. I am a turtle, why can't I swim? Because if I do fall in the water, I'll float away and eventually die. And you can see the annoying robots are being left off here and I have let's see. The slide kick is the best way of doing it. A lot of people try to master this for a good reason. Why? These guys are the reason. For you see, the turtles attack are actually I just put it this way, they follow boxing rules, which is above the waist. There's no, let's say, lower punch that allows you to, let's say, take things that are actually shorter than you. And you can see these guys are far more shorter than you and your blades are not going to do much. So most of the time, you will be using a slight kick. And your normal kick is actually not high enough to hit them. And the slight kick is, the, is also one of the most basic air attacks, so you'll be using this quite often. Now, one thing that I need to mention is the graphics did not go for better. It actually went for as you can see and I really cannot identify the turtles unless I'm talking about the weapons I can't even identify what I'm doing here most of the time you can see there are glitches that actually let's say make your body changes or let's say disappear through time to time and being story orientated is a good idea although the story is to be much more hilarious and funny after all this is dealing with kids so don't expect any let's say deep detailed stuff like what we did in the previous game like Rockman okay let's say what you're gonna do here okay now there's another thing I didn't mention out I do know that the Foot Clan has the habit of let's say making lots of mutants but I never seen a wolf guy before 
Alright, some people may let's say argue with me. Yeah, there was a food guy in Ninja Turtles and Batman. Okay, that was a single movie. But as for series, do we have Wolf Guy? Does he have a name? Or did someone in let's say Nightshade or let's say other games or even Castlevania just walk in the wrong studio and he was just told to let's say cameo for a few minutes? And this cameo is kind of sad because I just put it this way: is it? It, it will be better if they just bring back Biba and Rob Steady. I mean, their strong mindless hunk and hurling rocks at you is definitely their thing. You no need to create a wolf and let's say let him come in and you can even add a let's say talking title and mention, aha, I was given a second chance and you know that the second chance is not going to help him to make him much more pathetic and being the loser that they are. Why don't you do that? Which is a kind of sad thing. That's why, for me, this is actually a missed opportunity which shouldn't have happened in the first place. So, uh, not to mention, it's a tiring boss it really take a lot of hits for you to take him down. Which is kind of sad. Not to say that this game is bad. Yes, it's fun. Yes, you can play with a friend. No doubt. But as a reviewer and my friend is doing the technical, let's say, taping that, this thing down, he is in charge of taping while I'm in charge of playing. We, can, we can't, let's say, two two together and he's a, I don't think his girlfriend will allow herself to let's say be in this and yeah I can see his flashing he will he's sooner or later he's gonna die but just to let you know even the flashing guy would take a long time to die uh, do you remember the shurikens that we had in the previous game not here anymore you only can do melee which makes me feel more like samurai than a ninja after all ninjas are very fun of melee weapons and believe it or not, unlike samurai who some of them do despise muskets or guns, ninjas love guns, they even create bazookas if you just, to fight just to let you know. Ninjas were the first one to use cannons then. I'm not joking, really. Okay, now let's see what's gonna happen here. If they're not mistaken, there'll be a walking scene for no good reason. Spring is here, why I'm saying this, I have no idea. Okay, we are saving April again and we are fighting the fly scientists. This is actually one of the, you can see most of the time. <laughs> really, jump kick is the best way to attack. Well, of course, if you jump slash, you'll be, let's say, using his energy weapons from his wings and it will hit you. But if you let's say jump slide right, there's a most probable chance you'll be landing in a different place and the energy weapon for his wing is not gonna slash you. So this is kind of, this is kind of suck. Yeah, that this game is kind of bad, but I but I still like it for certain reasons. Why you see more of the let's say Ninja Turtles villains coming out here and then you do see that although they do not play a bigger role, and in order to lengthen the gameplay, the designers did brought in a lot of new stuff, but we do not feel nostalgic then. Sadly, it is these nostalgic moments that make us love the game, despite all its flaws. So to be fair, I don't mind fighting the fly guy, but I do mind fighting the wolf guy, just let you know. Okay, I finally saved her and now let's get into the truck. Now for further information, this was actually April's, uh, let's say, reporter truck and yet I have no idea why she gave it to us and oh my god, we are promoting b -Solality. Seriously, April, you don't want to have sex with that thing. Do you know how long a turtle thing is? I think I should be talking about this kind of stuff. But you can see th there's a lot of animation as we are being in a story, which is, yeah, the fine part of the game. And Splinter got kidnapped again. Where we need to save here. I wish it was April there. It would make more sense here. And we are fighting a giant robot cop with a cannon. That's nice. This was one of the times I really wish I had a couple of shurikens and let's say to do him. But as you sure can see, we don't have shurikens and the jump attack, jump attack, jump attack. It will be will be the best way to fight him. And you can see his movements are slow. His gunshots are slow. Just make sure you jump and let's kick him over time. Slashing. It's not a good idea unless you want to let's say tank him directly 
but I doubt that's a good idea because it won't be enough health points in the world for you to let you do that. So jump and slap, jump and kick, jump and kick is always the best way to fight. Yes, the rider kick is definitely the best way of attacking in this game. That's why it's been utilized here for what many one time too many. Now some people may ask me why I didn't use Donatello this time. Because I I be fair. The main turtle that we should be focus on, focusing on is Leonardo. He's the leader, he's a smart guy, but sadly, when it comes to story wise, he got little to nothing in the original game, to, or let's say original series, to the extent I feel sympathized for him. Why? Because Raphael is the, let's say, the brute. Donatello is the mind, we come with the best ideas and strategies, and Michelangelo is the, let's say, comic relief that caused trouble that we all like. So, what role does Leonardo play? Yes, he plays the leader, no doubt. What kind of leader? Which is a sad thing because you'll find his personality as simple as Blaine as Cyclops in X-Men. They almost share the same personality which is no personality at all. Besides the being the leader who finds hard to control his rag pack of misfits that never listen to him. This is why I use him more often. And to be fair, I yeah I admit, ninjas wielding swords is my kind of thing. That's why I'm most of have using him. But sadly, you can see the range of the blade is kind of short. Yeah, I should use Donatello the estate, but being a very very stubborn guy, I will still stick to my choice and use him. God die already! Ah, oh, finally he stayed there and stopped struggling like a dancer in distress. Well, yeah, Splinter, it's embarrassing. Okay, that was even more embarrassing. Thank you, my totals. As we can say for you. Ah, oh, why, why, why can't I use this? Seriously, a Naganita is a better weapon. Yeah, some Chinese say this. It is a Guan Dao, right? I'm sorry if I say that actually Guan Kong never used the Guan Dao, and the Guan Dao was more like a decoration or let's say during military parade they let's say bring it a walk around it was never utilized in the real let's say Chinese Mortal Kombat but the Nagadita oh that is a whole different thing although it's mentioned that it's only ladies who use this weapon but actually both sexes practice this weapon I have no idea why he says flying right like Dulahan and I did went to check there were no Dulahans myth in the Japanese stories or myths or horror stories uh, this is what happens when you let Westerners try to let's say talk about Japanese design. And you find this hilarious, you should have a good look at Legend of Fire Rings, where they let's say take it to the whole new level. Now being a children's game as you can see just now when Donatello, when uh, Leonardo is being defeated, he does not change the minor turtle, his head does not fly off, he just faints at the corner, with lost stars around his head. That's how you are being defeated. For after all this is a children's game, we are not going to expect to see them make turtles soup out of it. And just to let you foreigners know, there is no such thing as turtle soup. These turtles are soup material. Yes, there is a certain soft shell turtle that can be made into soup, but that is a whole new different case. They are not this kind of turtles, they are actually called pie. Not kui, I just let you know, kui are not supposed to make soup. Not even Japanese make turtle soups. And due to coronavirus incident, I need to point out. Yes, we know it was China that was responsible. I yes, wildlife as food surplus is not a good idea. But if you're gonna complain them using bats, right? Then it's plain wrong. Cause as long as it's been hygiene or let's say being let's say well organized or the food are being well prepared, it should be fine. The main problem here is unhygienous of the Chinese, not because of their eating turtles. So please make sure that your complaint makes sense. And okay, I know this is a political message, but I think I need to point this out. Bill Gates has nothing to do with the coronavirus. If you want to blame, it's Turtles himself for not being a responsible leader. And Bill Gates has no control him. So to blame Gates on this is kind of stupid. Now speaking of stupid, yes. Knife in gunfight again. Swords in gunfight again. Not a good idea. As you can see, I am not even using slashing. 
So eventually playing this game, you will be using the other turtles and you'll be doing the same thing. Jumping and kicking, jumping and kicking, jumping and kicking. And I did remember a Bruce Lee documentary mentioning that jumping and kicking was never a good idea. Really, don't try everything you see in martial art movies because they are stupid and dangerous. Especially everything that Jackie Dan used to do. You can try Donnie Yes tactics, uh, those are sometimes partially usable. But other movies I can't say for that. Okay, Bruce Lee is, a, is another exception. But you can just let you know, if you jump and kick and you may say you hit the ground, actually you damage and break your foot. Just let you know. The target you hit is actually the cushion they're supposed to help you. So it's a bad thing for him and a good news for you. So most of the time in jump kick event, right? All your opponent needs to do is to avoid you and with a shotgun in hand, I can even shoot you away, which will be causing more damage here. This is why if you see when you see WWE when they are fighting, when someone is jumping on high ground, the other person go and hugs him. It's not to let's say the act of let's say I'm being knocked knocked down. It's, that's one thing. The other thing I need to ensure the guy's happy landing or safe landing, unless I want him to go to the hospital. All right, he blow up. The barrier doors open. Now let's go in. Finally. And we are dealing with the final boss. I can't recall his name, but yeah, he's the guy with the brain and stuff. As usual, jump kick again, jump kick again. And he shoot lasers out of his eyes. As he was Superman. And I just let you know, I just a uh, quick time event let you let me die and... Whoa, the brain's funny. I'm invincible. Okay, show me your invincibility. What can you do? And he ran away. Yes. He claimed he's invincible and he ran away. And we finally have our ninja and oh. Okay, Shredder, I admit despite of your clothing, you can be considered a ninja. That is one of the ninja tactics where I mean where it's lazy split into different personality. Now by right you can't do that actually you have a let's say double, let's say do that for you. But ninja's combat is always caused on confusion and like the Death Star, this thing is blowing up. I need to run now. Oh god. Whoa. That was a big explosion. Okay, now let's see where I'll be going after this. A block in hours, the game's over. And I will put my ending note here. So remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the third game. Which I basically consider the worst among all. I have my reasons, but I do admit it does have its own nostalgic purpose. Firstly, see, Ninja Turtles were never a good idea to make games with unless you know what you're doing. But how come it's still so famous? How come we kids like it? How come there are fans for it? And how come, let's face it, the nerd played this game, he got frustrated and it still draws him back. For this game brings back the nostalgic purpose. The movie cutscenes cut did bring us back. And the game was not so horrible that it's undigestible. You're still able to be able to stomach it. And I admit, it's the fan service. This service as well. So we are willing to let's say give them a chance. So see you next time on how that game yeah, disappoints me and yet he was able to let me to hold on to it and not be able to let it go. I'll end the note here with the BGM of the move of this song. So see you next time people. See you next time.